Alright, we'll be installing NAND X wires onto our motherboard now. Uh, what we have done, we have simply taken the NAND X wires, uh, cut this end, and simply pre tin the wires. We'll be using direct solder method, so we'll be installing these wires directly onto our motherboard. Uh, just to quickly show you the connection sets that we'll be working with are the connection sets that we'll be working with are J2C1 and J2C3. So here we have J2C1 and that's J2C3. J2C1, point number one is black, point number two is brown, point number three is red, point number four is orange, point number five nothing, point number six is yellow. Over at J2C3, one, two, three, four, point number five is green, and point number six is blue. As always, simply um, pre tin add flux and pre tin your connections so the first one is black second one is brown Third one is red. Then comes orange. Then comes yellow. J to C three. Point number five is green. Point number six is blue. Once the NAND X wires have been soldered onto the motherboard, we'll be doing a quick test uh, just to see our wires and connections uh, have been soldered properly. So we'll be reading just two sample NANDs and comparing them to see if we have a clean NAND image and our NAND X wires have been soldered properly. So this is the whole connection setup. Uh, we have connected our power supply, AV cable, NAND X wires to NAND X, and NAND X is connected to PC USB port. Okay, this is just a quick test to ensure our NAND X wires have been soldered properly. What we'll be doing, we'll be reading a couple of NAND images, comparing them, and uh, just ensure we have a clean NAND image and see if we have soldered the NAND X wires properly. Uh, we'll be using JRunner software in order to read the NAND files. It's on version 2, beta state, and the revision is 283. Uh, simply double click on jrunner.exe and you'll be presented with this screen. As you can see, JRunner has already uh, detected our, uh, our hardware NANDX. Uh, in order to read the NAND, this is the whole. This is the process. So, select your NAND type, Corona version one. Press OK, and then select number of reads. How many reads you want? Two is more than enough. Which what JRunner will do, it will automatically read two NAND files and compare it uh, to see if there are any bad blocks. If there is bad blocks, it will fix it automatically. Okay, simply click on Read NAND. Uh, this is just a, I've already done a, a couple of backups. So it's saying the backups are already there. Uh, it'll be deleted. That's fine. Takes a couple of minutes. Uh, I'm going to pause the video. Uh, once complete, I'll be back. Our first backup is almost there. Once again, as said, I've already got two backups in there, so it'll, it's okay. Just press OK. It will delete the existing one and create another one. So it's reading the second backup now, and once the second backup is complete, it will compare it and see if we have any bad blocks. Our second backup is almost there. Complete. Okay, so JR has uh, completed two backups and it's compared that and the NANDs are the same. That means we have a clean NAND image and obviously we have soldered our NANDX wires properly.